The quick and simplify budgeting app added some big enhancements to make managing your money more fun. Plus, I'm going to demo exactly what those features are inside of the app in this video. Let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back to the Quicken channel. I'm your host, Justine. I'm a personal finance educator and enthusiast. And today we are going to be talking about Quicken Simplifies features that you may not know about. So I'm going to be sharing the biggest ones that I love. Let's take a look at planned spending rollover. You know, when you have maybe underspent in a specific category and you have money left over, well now inside of the app, you can actually roll over any unused funds to the next month. Alternatively, if you've overspend in a particular category, that negative amount can roll over to the next month, thus deducting the budgeted amount for that specific category. Let me show you how that works. When you open up your spending plan inside of the Quick and Simplify app, you can hover into a specific plan spending category. So in this example, I'll use groceries. And let's say we want to roll over this amount of money, right? You can click edit expense, edit series, and then for groceries, I've allotted $500 uh, for this specific category. But what if I wanna change this to 750 and then say roll over balance each month? So you can either start with a particular opening rollover number, or you can start with zero and then start with the rollover date. Then you click update and now you've set that specific budget category to roll over any underspent or overspent funds. This next feature is calling all homeowners. If you wanna track your property's value, you can do so inside of the app with the Zillow integration. So all you have to do is log into your app, connect Zillow by finding your property and then linking them together. Here's how it's done. To add the Zillow flow to your Simplify account, you're going to go over to just your dashboard area. You're going to click assets and then you're going to click real estate. Then you can type in your address and then it's going to add that property into your Simplify account, allowing you to track your property's value over time. Another feature that I'm really loving is the integration of tracking your credit score and your credit score history within the app. All you need to do is go inside of your app and then click reports. Then you're going to click credit score and then click get started. Inside of this, there will be a window that pops up. You're going to input your personal in information so that we can verify your identity, get your credit score, and pull that into the app. Then you're going to click continue, go through the identity verification prompts, and then your credit score has been successfully linked to your Simplify app. Once you've added your credit score, you'll be able to view your credit score history under that same tab under the report section, and you'll be able to see any fluctuations or changes over time. This next feature is for my Apple users, my iPhone users. If you use Apple Wallet, you can now sync Simplify to your Apple Wallet. You'll want to integrate and set that up using your mobile app. So you're going to add an account from your mobile app and you're going to select or search for Apple Wallet and then you'll be prompted to connect Apple Wallet. Once you get that set up on your mobile app, you'll be able to access it either from your mobile app, desktop, or your tablet. Okay, if you've been tracking your investments using Simplify, you can now even track your gains and losses over time inside of the app, what they are calling profit inside of the app. I think this is really smart because you can get real time profit numbers for your investments inside of your app, making this more and more that one stop financial shop to make sure you are having your eyes on all areas of your money. This next feature might be one of my favorite features and that is account to account transfers. So no longer do you need to open a new window or connect to another app 
in order to make transfers financially in between your accounts. You can actually do that inside of Simplify. So imagine being able to transfer money from your checking account to your savings account inside of the app and Simplify automatically gets that information to update things like your savings goals or other financial goals that you might have. This is a huge advantage and one that I hope you will take note of and let me know if you're trying this inside of the comments. Our next feature that I'm really loving and I kind of hinted at it uh, just a minute ago was you can access the app from your tablet. So if you're a tablet user, the app has been modified to really fill out that tablet screen, making the buttons and the user experience and the functionality of the app really tablet friendly. So for those of you already using Quicken and Simplify and really like to geek out on the little cool features, here are some notable ones that you'll want to make sure you are using. The first one is there have been updates to splits. Okay, so have you ever made a transaction at, let's say, Target? And <laughs> inside of that Target run, you bought milk that belongs in groceries, pajamas that belongs in clothing, and your mom's birthday present, which technically belongs in gifts. Well, now you can take that single Target transaction and split it inside of Simplify. Here's how to do that. So I just hovered over to transactions and then I found that target charge. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hit the split purple button and it automatically categorized target as shopping as it does with Amazon. But now I'm actually going to tell it exactly what I did. So I did some, let's say Christmas shopping here. I bought some groceries, and then see how that amount is deducted up here from left to split. You can add another split here, and let's say it was clothing, and then I can simply click add left to split, and it'll automatically divvy up all of those amounts for me, and then you can click save splits, and then it'll automatically put those different amounts and deduct them from the right budget categories. The next geek out feature that you'll wanna take note of is to be able to set custom frequencies for recurring transactions. So if you have a utility bill that's perhaps not billed every month, but billed every other month, or billed on a specific day of the month, you can actually note that inside of Simplify so that it knows to look for that on the specific day or time period that that you set it to. So let me show you an example. So there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can go to bills and payments and then select recurring. I'm actually in my spending plan and then I hovered over my bills section here. So I just did the drop down menu here for bills and then I'm gonna go to my water bill because my water bill is actually billed every other month. So what I can do here is I can view the series and take a look at how this has been billed. So September, November, and then the next one won't actually happen until January. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click options and click edit series, and then I'm going to change this to do start date of January 23rd and this is gonna happen every two months. Now I can preview the next occurrence, which is going to be January, then March, and then verify that Simplify has automatically calculated this correctly, and then click Update. Now this particular utility bill will be able to track appropriately inside of the app according to how I'm being billed. Another notable geeky feature is being able to amount match to specific transactions. So if you have a gym membership and you're being charged a hundred bucks a month, but let's say you also spent money at the smoothie bar at your gym and that was another $6. So you can actually set your transaction amounts for a specific amount saying, if this payee matches $100, this needs to be set as my gym subscription. Anything outside of that would not be counted as part of your subscription cost. 
This prevents any other purchases that you may make at the gym from being linked incorrectly. For subscriptions that have varying amounts, you can select a limited range for amounts to make sure that it's always linked back to the right transaction. When I'm thinking about subscriptions that have varying amounts, it could very well be your cell phone bill where perhaps you went on an international plan for a week and then hopped off or a, a line got added or, or taxes were just different that month. You can track all of that by being able to specify a limited range amount for a particular subscription. If you are still a paper check user, <laughs> and that's totally fine, and checks are still a valid form of, of cash, is that you can actually manually track your check number by using the check number field inside of your account. So you can actually add that as a detail under your transactions, and you'll also see it listed as part of your transaction activity. Next, if you really like to look at how your cash flow is moving for the year and you wanna plan that out, you can actually see a 12 month projected cash flow inside of Simplify. I recommend really using this on the web app because I like to see <laughs> numbers and big screens super millennial of me, but I really like to see how this all is going to play out, especially as we're taking a look at how our income fluctuates month over month and our bills. Being able to see that in a visual chart is really crucial and just one of the features that I'm totally geeking out on. We've also introduced transaction rules that make it more customizable for you to view your transaction content inside of the app. So now you can either use the statement name or the quick and simplify payee name when you are referencing transactions. Now, this is a great enhancement that's just going to continue to build on things like transaction rules for amounts, accounts, and other factors. Okay, if you like dark mode just as much as I do when it comes to viewing content on your phone, then you are going to love that Simplify also features a dark mode. So when you're on your app, you can click in the upper right hand corner on your icon and then under appearance, you can switch from light to dark. On top of all of the features that have been added to Simplify, Quicken has also released the Quicken Life Hub. This is a way for you to organize all of life's most important information in one central digital hub. If you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description box below. What features are you tapping into when it comes to exploring and utilizing Simplify to the max to manage your money? Let me know in the comments if you enjoy these videos or you want more tutorials, click that thumbs up button or let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one.